CNN recruits Washington's worst warmonger the instant he leaves Congress. CNN has shattered the speed of light in its haste to recruit former Representative Adam Kinzinger to its punditry lineup the millisecond he left Congress. Kinzinger, who prior to being redistricted out of his House seat, received handsome campaign contributions from arms manufacturers Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon, and Northrop Grumman, was arguably the most egregious warmonger in Capitol Hill. Nobody in Congress lobbied as aggressively to start World War III as Kinzinger did last year. He tried to advance a bill authorizing hot war against Russia if Moscow crossed specified lines in Ukraine, but couldn't get co-sponsors because even his fellow congressional hawks thought it was too insane. He was the loudest voice in the U.S. government, publicly advocating a no-fly zone over Ukraine in the early weeks of the war, an idea that was slammed by the mass media as it would necessarily have entailed the U.S. military shooting down Russian warplanes and aggressively tempting nuclear war. Kinzinger was such a demented, omnicidal maniac in 2022 that while still in office, he became an official member of the empire-backed online troll farm known as NAFO which was founded by an actual neo-Nazi whom Kinzinger openly supported both before and after revelations emerged of the founder's expressions of hatred for Jews and fondness for Hitler. While still a sitting congressman, he was flagging trolls with hashtags, inviting them to swarm the social media comments of critics of U.S. foreign policy who opposed his psychopathic warmongering. Before the war in Ukraine, Kinzinger was calling for the reinvasion of Afghanistan immediately following the U.S. troop withdrawal, and raging about public opposition to endless war. Before that, he was cheerleading Trump's assassination of Iranian military leader Qasem Soleimani, calling for U.S. interventionism in Venezuela, defending the U.S.-backed war on Yemen, calling for the invasion of Syria, and just generally pushing for more war and militarism at every opportunity. Before that, he was helping the Empire kill Iraqis as a member of the U.S. Air Force. Kinzinger is such an obnoxious warmonger online that I myself have called him the single worst Twitter account that has ever existed, long before his CNN gig was a twinkle in his eye. So it's no wonder a warmongering propaganda network snapped him up the instant he became available, ensuring that his warmongering receives as large a platform as possible. As anti-war as Dave DeCamp quipped regarding CNN's hire, all those calls for World War III must have landed him this gig. Kinzinger's assimilation into the war propaganda industry was so predictable that Glenn Greenwald included it in a Twitter poll this past October asking his audience where they expect his career will take him after he leaves Congress, with CNN being one of the options. As one Twitter follower put it, The congressman to media commentator to lobbyist revolving door spins so fast in Washington it actually affects the Earth's rotation relative to the sun. War is the glue that holds the U.S. empire together, and to serve that purpose it requires endless war propaganda. War propagandists are not any more separate from the endless mass military slaughter they facilitate than the people who actually pull the trigger and we see this illustrated in the way Kinzinger has been able to slide seamlessly from dropping bombs to passing bomb-dropping legislation to manufacturing consent for the dropping of bombs. We live under an empire that is fueled by lies and human blood, and driven by the ongoing efforts of murderous war sluts like Adam Kinzinger. CNN will be perfect for him.